All right. Um, a month or so ago on uh, Instagram, I asked people what uh, type of videos they wanted to see, and um, someone whose name escapes me right now suggested I do a video on uh, my PV Ultra 60. And um, so you know what? That's what we're doing. <laughs> um, I looked up the serial number on this, or tried to find out where it was made, and dating PV amps. I was having troubles finding that, but I think it's early 90s, 92-ish maybe. Um, but uh, I know they were doing the Ultra Series in the early 90s, so that would be a good guess. <laughs> um, I've had it for at least 15 years, maybe longer, I don't remember, 20 years, I don't know. But um, yeah, played it a lot, um, it's been in a lot of bars, and um, still works and sounds great. Um, so yeah, I thought we would just, uh, you know, have a little bit of fun with it. Um, the, uh, it's got a lot of controls. It's a three-channel amp. It's got a clean channel. It's got two dirty channels, um, and um, so it's very versatile. It's got a three-button uh, foot switch, which I can put a picture up right here of that switch, <laughs> um, which you can switch, you know, turn your reverb on and off, switch between your clean and your dirty, and then switch which dirty channel you want, which is great. Um, and yeah, I mean, it's got uh, a master volume, a reverb, how much reverb you want, and then it's got these voicing controls, which is like an EQ, but it only works for the distorted channels. Then it's got our ultra gain channel and our crunch gain channel, and then a pre gain and then post gain um, for that, and then an EQ that runs everything, and then our clean gain, and then uh, buttons to turn on which channel if you're not using the foot switch. Um, there's a button here for a boost, like a for a clean channel which I usually have on, but I can, you know, we can play with that a little bit too. But, um, yeah, it's um, just a good workhorse amp. And so, yeah, let's plug in, and um, you can hear how it sounds. All right, we're going to start on the clean channel, and um, I've got the EQ all in the middle, and I've got that little boost turned off, and um, got the reverb at about four, so we don't have a ton of reverb, but, you know, enough to make it, uh, you know, make it pretty. <laughs> and uh, so, yeah, it sounds like this. boost on. Do you hear the difference in that? And it's not like a straight up boost just to make it louder. It actually boosts the, uh, gives it a little bit more treble. It's like a treble boost. So, uh, yeah, I usually leave that on, like I said earlier. Um, let's play with the uh, EQ a little bit. And uh, this it goes um, your highs, your mids, and your lows. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Fun. Oh no, that's not good. Let's forget, forget about the EQ for now. I don't even know why we're doing it. <laughs> well, we're just having fun, like I said. Okay, I've got the... Uh, we're going to play with some of the dirty channels. And I've got the uh, pre-gain, the dirt, um, set in the middle of both of them. And um, this is the uh, crunch channel. difference between the crunch and uh, the ultra. Crunch. Not a ton of difference, but it definitely tightens it up a little bit. And I figure the ultra is, seems to me to be a little bit more of a metal uh, type of a amp, more of the high gain stuff. And then the uh, Crunch is more of a rock thing, but yeah. Yeah, the crunch definitely opens it up a little bit. Um, and um, yeah, if you go to the ultra, you can get some really dirty tones on this thing.
being said, if we go back to the crunch channel and we turn the gain down, <laughs> not up, down. There, now we're on three. There, I turned it way down. We're like between one and two. things that I always love to do with this is I would uh, set the ultra about the same. And then have it turned up a touch on the uh, output and then just you kind of use it as a uh, lead boost, you know, so you have your... Yes, it's just a just a good versatile um, rock amp. I mean, it's um, you know it, it seems a little bit complicated with three channels and stuff, but it's really not. It's just very uh, very fun. Um, I'm gonna go play with that reverb a little bit. You can get a good amount of reverb. Crank that up. No reverb is so dead. <laughs> it just kills it. <laughs> but yeah, I normally keep the reverb a little bit below half, and it's just uh, well, it's just where I like it. <laughs> there you go, a uh, quick uh, demo of my PV Ultra 60. Um, and um. I've had this amp for so long that it's hard for me to uh, um, critique it. I mean, I would really <laughs> need to broaden my amp horizons. I don't, uh, you know, I just have always loved this amp, but I've never really, um, I'm babbling, I'm sorry. But you know what, that's what I do. Um, so yes, um, it, uh, honestly, this is the first time I reviewed an amp and actually went through all of its stuff. So please tell me below what I did wrong, what I should have talked about, what was irrelevant. Or, wait a minute, I just thought of something. Um, I looked up some specs. I looked up like the old manual and found, um, just a second, I found um, some of the uh, specs, where, oh wait, there it is, and um, it uh, has two 6L6 tubes in the power amp section, and it says with a 12AX7 driver, okay, and then in the preamp it's got three 12AX7, so um, if you're an amp geek and like hearing about that type of stuff, there's that info for you. Um, I don't know what else to talk about, because I don't know a lot of the... Uh, electronical shit about amps. I just plug in and turn them on and play with knobs and, you know, because that's the fun stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry. I babble way too much. Um, Yes, like I said, please let me know what would be a better way to do an amp demo because I'm sure I'll do some more in the future. But um, anyway, I'm going to stop now. <laughs> if you don't mind the guy babbling about guitars and guitar-related shit, please, please hit that subscribe down there. Help me grow the channel because that is appreciated so much. And um, I'll see you in the next video.